What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Just Ignore Them. Probably the final one. Actually, this will be the final one. And um, right now what I've done is I've gone back from the last episode. We finished off at the motel. Um, guy was dead. Went and got all the stuff. Got on the airplane. Did all the stuff on the airplane. Decided not to kill Neeson. He still got killed. No way to save him. And we are now at Dave's place and we have a new dialogue. So we're here talking to her. After everything we survived, you're acting like this is the end. Who knows? It could be. Is all I'm saying. So uh, we just basically talked to her and said, uh, everything that's happened, I want to say I'm really getting to like you. Mark, don't get all mushy on me now. After everything we survived, you're acting like it's the end. Who knows? It could be. So I'm thinking that maybe uh, once we go see Dave, maybe the dialogue would be a little bit different. I'll come get you soon. I'm just finish off my smoke first. So we're going to go in here and we're going to talk to Dave like we did the last time. Well, this is it. I can do this. But I should never have dragged Bree into this mess. Maybe we can put an end to this mess. Maybe we can stop him. So now we have the achievement. Is this the right thing to do? So we're going to go in here and we're going to see if we can't figure out what we can do to hopefully save, uh, save Bria. I'm not going to go into that room yet. I want to see if I can check a few things out first. Something missing from its neck. You can't do anything with it. Let's see if we can figure out these things. Maybe um, search. Do that. Red key card. It's unsanitary. The sink. Can't do anything. Nothing special about it. Can't do anything with it. See nothing special about it. And the vet can't do anything with it. Okay, let me go back outside. We'll check this room here. This is the bedroom. Nothing there. Nothing there. So we can't do anything here. I don't even know what this bedroom's for. Like, we, it's been emptied the entire time. I'm going to see if I can search downstairs as well. Uh, last time we tried to do that, it said that you should go check upstairs first. I need to see Dave first. Okay, so let's go see Dave. Um... Or, wait, before we do that, let's go talk to Bria. Just in case, maybe because uh, I'll get Bria soon for a second. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we won't bother doing that either. Let's just go see Dan slash Dave. I don't even know what the hell this guy's name is. Uh, Dave? Yeah. Dave, it's me. Mark. You're late. Yeah, about like two minutes. You know my rules, Mark. If you're late, then no business. You know... Frig your rules. This is more important than you not wanting to exist. Now, Mark, there's no need to be like that. I know this is important to you, but remember, you're in my house, so you will listen to my freaking rules. You dig? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. Now, do you have some everything set? Did you bring the girl? I brought a girl. How old? About early mid-twenties. A bit young, but she'll do. Dave, I'm not sure about this anymore. If you keep falling for these women... How are we going to bring your mother back? I I don't know. Bring her here so I can examine her. Okay, I'll be back soon. Okay, can we... Uh, I don't need that. We don't need to talk to Dave. I can't do anything with it. Painting. Strange, I have a painting at home. But I don't remember it being black. Check out the window. Strange, there's a small black and white pipes coming up from the ground. Like maybe an underground furnace or something. Ooh, sneaky. We know what that is. We've seen that. What's this? GB experiment, code name Mother. Uh, severe regression. We've seen all this before, so you want to see that. You guys can always look in the uh, previous episodes to see the dialogue or pause. Can't do anything with it. No torture table. Can't do anything with that. It's a lab bench. Can't do anything with there. Nothing at all. Huh. Can't do anything with Dave's computer. Can't do anything with the drawer. Books. Human anatomy. Carbon return off the other book. And we can't grab them yet. We did those in the previous series or episodes. And I don't think we got anything here. Oh, it's the same painting as in the other room. He doesn't seem to be putting two and two together and saying, hey, this one's red and that one's black. Now, we'll see if we can go check out the other room. And if not, I need to see Dave first. 
I see nothing special about it. Nothing there. Okay, let's go get Bria and see what happens. And this is the reason why I'm saying this is going to be the last episode. If things don't change from this point forward, I'm going to be ending it. It'll just be kind of a weird end after... Um, don't get all mushy. Okay, saw this here. Okay, Bria, it's time to go see Dave. Mark, yes, I just wanted to say thanks. It's okay. It's hard to find friends in this world when you've got nothing. Bria, I want you to do something for me. When I say I want you to run, why, Mark? What's going to happen in there? Something that you're not going to like, but I need you to play along until we see what he does. Mark, you better explain before I run now. That mother freaker in there turned his father into the... Turn my father into the monster he is now. I need proof, a confession, anything to put him down for good. Otherwise, I'd kill him. Okay, Mark, take this voice recorder, hide it, and when I say run, go straight to the police. What about you, Mark? Don't worry about me. Mark, we will make it out alive. Okay, Bria, let's go. So, I wonder now if things are going to end up a little bit different. Ah, you're both here. And who might you be? Her name is Bria. Can't she speak, Mark? I can speak, so she can't. Uh, told me to know about these monsters. Yes, I wish to know more. They seem to be following me now. I came here to look for answers, and answers you shall get. Now, where shall I start? Me and Mark have known since little. Yes, we did. Nothing to do with everything. A pharmaceutical company. Uh -huh. And he was sleeping with her mom. His mom. Uh huh. He designed, huh? Like robotic. Yep. Yeah, they called them Jeebies after my mother. Uh huh. And uh, test subjects were used for brain's basic functions, which is eat and sleep. Da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. my father was a noble man, respectable, along with blah, blah, have their flaws. My father was sleeping with his mother. My father was too blinded by his work and didn't even notice. My mother left him not long after that. We both lost something that day, but my father lost his sanity. He designed the jubies into these monsters right after he killed yours, Mark. After he alert the truth. Mark, he told me you killed them. Bria, I, Mark, it was my father's mistake, not mine. It was unfortunate about your mother, Mark. But we can put an end to this, Mark. Set things right. Please stay the night. Just have a guest bedroom next door. Alright, so this is where things are different from the last time. We never actually got to see this, and this is uh, hopefully going to be leading towards the good ending. So, Mark, Bria, I'm sorry I lied to you. I want to tell you something. Oh, she's crying. But why I'm here. There's a reason I wanted to know more about these things. About 10 years ago, me and my dad moved here. We were barely able to cope with the loss of mom back home. My dad was a good man that made bad choices. I remember coming home from school one afternoon. He was waiting in the kitchen. He asked me how my day was. We talked like teenage stuff, you know. There was a loud smashing sound. The next thing was when my dad said to me, Brianna, hide, and no matter what, don't come out. So your name's not Paris? No, it's not. I'm sorry I lied to you, Mark. I used my nickname to not feel so bad about it. You said before you wanted to know more. Why? I hid in the fireplace. It was dark. They didn't see me. I watched them beat my dad to near death. He owed them a lot of money. They were beating him for a while. I heard one of them say, let Jackie boy have him. You know, I thought I was dreaming. I thought things like this could never exist until I met you, Mark. Bria? I watched him be devoured by this, this thing. I'm so sorry, Bria. It's okay, Mark. I trust you. And thank you for being there for me. Listen, I know Dave's not telling the truth. I know we need to make him confess, somehow. Well, maybe we should look around while he's asleep. That's not a bad idea. There must be some place around here where he makes the jeebie. You know, Mark? We could kill some time. How? Seriously, do you need a diagram or something? <laughs> oh, you mean what you said on the plane? Yeah, but it would be a mile low club. So what do you say? Yes. Bria, I... Shh. Oh, oh, avert your eyes, kids. <laughs> wow. That was... Wow. <laughs> Don't tell me that was your first time. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I don't usually get close to people. Why? You're not afraid of a girl, are you? I'm afraid of them being eaten. Good point. Okay, let's see what we can find. You should be asleep by now. Okay, I will look around downstairs. Okay. And achievement unlocked? Lust. <laughs> nice. Okay, talk to Brian. I don't need that. And nothing we could do there. No picture, no nothing. 
Okay, so now we're going to go through probably the same motions or similar motions to what we did last time. Uh, we did find the red key card in here, which is fine. There's nothing in there, nothing special over there, nothing in there. Okay, so we'll go back into Dave's office. Uh, there was nothing there, right? No, okay. We'll go back in here. We'll go get the blue key card, I think it was, or the yellow key card. And it was one of these books. So we'll get that. There's a book there that has no cover. It sounds like something's inside. A key card. I wonder what it's for. So now we got the yellow and the red. Uh, computer. Dave's computer. So it's password protected. Right. Nothing there. And we can look in here. See what else we can find. Off a small flask to start the birthing process. Use this birthing process. Okay. So we got that. Painting. It's also something in here. It's locked by something and that's the little underground thing there so there's nothing else here can't do anything with it see nothing special about it now we got to go downstairs because we still can't do anything with the statue as of yet we go downstairs we'll get into uh i guess dave's apartment which is kind of weird if you, oh no it's the dining room okay i thought it was dave's bedroom <laughs> wow because i was gonna say it's kind of weird you know you got this little cage in here and stuff like that where'd you go for you oh no okay let's go in here and we'll get the uh oh here goes nothing something in here a jewel who we'll puts stuff like this in here there's a note in the back gotcha mark okay and we don't have anything we could look at here but we have this a drawer we'll go look in there see what we have and i think we can grab uh, wire cutters off the what are these four Grab that off the workbench. Hey, some cable cutters. These always... Huh? It's stuck to the backboard. It can turn. Something has opened. Okay, and there's nothing we can look for here. There's nothing on the table. Nothing in the cupboards or in the fridge. There's a cage. Can't do anything. That's not normal. Here's a man -sized cage in your living room. Good. So now we should have the red, yellow, and blue key cards. Yeah, plus we got the jewel. Uh, we're going to go back upstairs, put the jewel on the statue. That will allow us to go downstairs. Uh, the only thing I don't know as of now is what the hell is the password for the... What do you call it? Let's see, this thing here. We got this thing, but we don't know what the password is. Now, that's something you only see in a video game. Uh, zero... Six, two, four. Mm. Wrong password. I don't even know what the heck it would be. Uh, zero, six, zero, nine. Mm. Wrong password. What would the password be? That's the only thing we never actually found out last time. See, 104. And nothing in there. And there's a note. It's, uh, if it's a rose you seek, you need the right tools, which we found before. We don't have anything on these. The key cards don't do anything. I don't remember seeing anything anywhere else. That's weird. Oh, well, let's go back down into where this little dude is. Um, this guy? on there do the whole uh what's that zelda statue thing yeah well if the jewel fits just like the old games i used to play secret hatch down we go now i don't know if we're gonna find anything password wise down here i might see if i can figure out what that code is as well Oops. Okay. What's this thing? It's a big door. How the hell did Dave make all this? Okay, so now we can do... Oh, no, wait. We... Oh, yeah, we could do... Nope, we need yellow. Because the screen's yellow, so we put the yellow one in. Let's see if this works. Okay, now it's blue. And I find a blue key card. You got the blue key card. We go there. Find a red key card. And we'll do 
that there. Let's see a shit green. Another key care for the hell am I gonna find a green one? Maybe I'm missing something. You certainly are. So we do the red or the blue with the yellow, and we get the green. And I'm gonna save, so give me two seconds, guys. Okay, so I've already saved, and I'm gonna do this. I, I don't want to go in. Okay, no, I don't want to go in there. I wasn't sure if it was gonna force me to go in. I'm gonna go up and see if I can find out what the code is, and I'll bring you guys back once I find out what it is. All right, guys, we're back here in this room, and um, let's see, do zero, four, one, nine. Don't even ask how I got that. It's a cassette player, weird. There's no tape in it. Achievement unlocked, a tape recorder? Uh, I actually had to look that up. I had no idea what the code was. There's nowhere where I could find it. I didn't see it on clocks or in any of the notes that I had found. Um, it's not in the bedroom. There's nowhere, anywhere that I can see where you would find anything at all. What is that? Bria. Hmm. It's got nothing to say. What the hell is Brea doing over here? Uh, that's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, so I, I just wanted to get that. So now we're going to go back down here and we're going to go into the big room and we're going to find out what the hell happens now from that point because uh, this is looking a little crazy. I don't even know what the tape recorder is for, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't know if we're going to find a tape down here or what. But uh, let's go into the big door and get the big old finale. What is this place? Bria! Bria! So sort of similar to what uh, happened before. What has he done to you? I have to find a way to get you out of there. Huh? Someone's coming. I need to hide. Uh, okay. You'll hide yourself then. Nice hiding spot, buddy. Okay, everything looks fine. I'll send the spine eater after Mark. Frig him and his dysfunctional family. But you, Bria, will be much more to me. I know you can hear me in there. Hey, Bria, you want to know a secret? I bet Mark hasn't told you about what happened to his mother. My mother? He never even wondered where I got her brain tissue from. You ready, Bria? You ready to hear my dirty little secret? Oh, please no. I killed her. I killed her like the filthy rat she is. It was like it happened yesterday when I was 16. Mark was my neighbor, you see, and I used to babysit him a lot. Bria, settle down, okay? I'm getting to the good part. See, we never went to the same school. We just rode the same bus. I managed to steal his house key from his backpack. That night I was that night was the night I took what soul that little boy had left. I had been setting Jiwi in his house ever since his father died. For fun. I'm surprised he survived that long. But that night I tried to kill him too. But he wandered around the house too much. After I killed his mom, I tried everything to draw him to the Jiwis. I made noises, left handprints on the glass doors, even turned on the TV. And then and then he called me two weeks ago asking me to help him turn you into his dead mother. Man, what a freaked up world we live in. Anyway, my dear, don't move. I just need to grab the formula from upstairs. If your friend finds it, he could be he could potentially cure you by creating the reverse one. And we don't want that, do we? You stay beautiful. Oh crap! Okay, so now we gotta find out what the hell is going on. How do we do the whole thing? Hang on, Bria. I'll find some way to get you out of there. They said there was some sort of way to cure her, to reverse formula. Maybe there's something on the control panel that can do that. Alright, let's read the note. It's a note. Remember, Dave, you built a reverse engineer mechanism into the console. If anything is to go wrong, use the formula in the console. This will reverse the binding formula back to its basic state, if I ever forget. That was handy. Okay, so we put this in what? The console, it said? That won't work. Uh, you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, let's do this. Um, do underground. Oops. Good. There. Try it on this. Okay, now what? Oh, it's processing. 
Okay, now pull the switch to reverse the formula. Okay, done. Hmm. Maybe I can trick Dave into using the wrong formula. I just need to wait for the right time. Huh? He's coming back. And... Well, Bria, looks like your boyfriend stole my formula, but don't worry, I can make another. Unless he comes out and gives it to me now. Well, it's now or never. Bump up ba -da. Hey, Dave! Well, look, you came to their senses. So, Mark, why'd you steal it? Well, I couldn't find you, so I thought I'd start the process myself. And do you know how to? It's gonna wing it. So you're going to wing the whole one process which you can't afford to screw up. Yes. Yeah, I'm not buying that. Uh-oh! You remember my friend? I'm sure Bria would. Is this what you did to her? Of course. I turned your own mother into a freaking monster machine. Oh, you turned your own mother into a freaking monster machine. My father was the only use I needed, but I found one for my mother. You're freaking insane, you know that? But I'm a freaking genius. And <laughs> when I solved the code to our immortality, so this is what it's all about? Freaking fame? Of course. Now, hand it over. Uh. Sure. As I give birth to death. Dave, don't. This isn't right. Why? Because you say it isn't? Oh, I believe this is right. Let's see what happens. I don't know if this is actually going to be the right or the wrong thing. Come on, Bria. Wake up. You need to give it a few minutes to work, Mark, and then the dear old mother again. I know you can hear me in there. You need to fight it. Mark, that ain't gonna work. Bria, what benefit does she serve to you? Wait, what the hell? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we made a super Bria. Bria, wait. Oh, I was going to say, she's not the uh, troll doll thing she was before. Bria, no, that shouldn't be happening. No, her signs are showing something. What signs? She's trying to communicate, but the brain is sending the wrong messages to her mouth. I'll try to reroute them. M -m -m Mark. Bria? It's me. I'm still here. Bria, how are you doing this? Mark, I want to tell you something. Bria? I, 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 love, I love you, Mark. I'm going to save you. I'm not going to let you die. Get her. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, this is where Bria goes ham bone. Oh. Nice. Uh oh. What's happening? What? Oh, look at the dead guy on top of the bookshelves or whatever the hell those things are, and heads all over the floor. Bria! Maybe I'm too late. I'm so sorry for everything I've done to you. Mark, I said it before, don't need to say sorry. Hi, uh, Maria. Hello, sweetie. Mom? But how? Mark, honey, I can't stay for long. Mom, I'm so sorry about everything that happened. It's all my fault. No, Mark, things happen for a reason. But I was the reason for these things to happen. I can never forgive myself. I need you back, Mom. I don't know what else to do. Sweetie, I think Bria needs you more. You've grown into a handsome man. She's lucky to have you. But I will always be with you, Mark. Mom, please don't go. I have to. I, you need to do what's right. I love you, my little man. Oh, brings a tear to your eye, doesn't it? Poof. Mom! Oh, I love you too, Mom. I need to get you out of here. Bria, are you still there? And we got achievement unlocked, the love potion. Bria? Bria! I can friggin' hear you. Just have a massive headache. And I don't want to open my eyes. Oh. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> About what I said back there? Save it. We can talk about this later. Right now, we need to get out of here before the cops arrive. Okay. Also, before we do, Mark? Yes. Where's my clothes? Uh, uh, they were torn by your transformation. Oh, for freak's sakes. That's a $400 jacket. <laughs> we left that hole. I hope you rotten hell, Dave slash Dan. 
and the abominations you've created, we're heading back home. Finally. I've decided to let Brea stay with me. We're dating now. Ooh, it's been a great few months. I guess we're both too scared to leave each other. I just hope he doesn't come back. Good end. Yay! Well, at least the coffee's okay. I never really came here for the taste. Besides, I want to drink black coffee anyway. So what's on the agenda for today? Well, go out, have a nice lunch, catch a film, and go to the nice bike ride and go for a nice bike ride in the sunset. What do you think? You're not serious, Merc, are you? I'm not. Relax. <laughs> well, the lunch and cinema are fine, but frig that happy ending romantic crap. I know you're not into that, Bria. Mark? Yes? I'm kidding. That actually sounds nice for a change. There's just one problem. What's that? I don't own a bike. Jeez, Mark. I could never afford one. Yet you own a car? It's not like a bike costs one million dollars. How about we go for a nice drive instead? Okay, that sounds nice. Oh, I found a tape recorder in your truck. Oh yeah, I found that thing at Dave's. I was making a recording for you the other day. Oh yeah, what about? Just a bit about myself. It's more like a journal. Can I hear it? It's not done yet. Okay, I'll look forward to it. Oh, the, the, the ghost thing. Holy crap. Yeah, Bria? It's nothing. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. That doesn't sound good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Everybody in the diner's dead. Oh, <laughs> no way. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. And the sign on the window, I'm still here. Achievement unlocked, Dad? <laughs> Just ignore them by Stranga. Story by Stranga, concept by Stranga, characters by Stranga, sprites by Stranga. Uh, Stranga, 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 Stranga. Nicely done. So we finally got the good, the good ending. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a ton of fun playing this. And um, by the way, the beta test of Chillax. That's not me. I'm Chills, not Chillax. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it was it was a lot of fun. It was really a lot of fun. Some of it was a little bit frustrating, especially going back and getting this good ending. Um, like I said, probably did about an hour's worth of work off camera to get the good ending. So, you know, just a lot of repeating things, but I'm glad we did it. We actually got to see both endings. That was really cool. And um, we're going to hang out here and watch the credits and um, you'll see uh, you'll see something at the end, I'm sure. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you show me some love. Hit that like button. It really helps me out more than you could ever imagine. Thank you when you do. If you haven't hit the sub button yet, do that before you go. You get to see a ton of videos every single day. Plus a whole bunch of other series. Live streams over on Mixer.com. And this is it. Bria's story. Coming soon. <laughs> Take care. Very simple.